I mean, Rogan is not messing around. He's calling Jake out hard. There's not a chance in hell that Jake Paul would survive against the Mike Tyson. He's conning you with his antics. He's conning you with his his uh, online persona yep. and the shit talking. The rumor mill is churning out all kinds of juicy details about what else Rogan allegedly said. Some people are claiming he went on this whole rant about how Jake is just a social media star playing at being a boxer, and that backing out of the Tyson fight proves he's not cut out for the big leagues. Supposedly, Rogan said something along the lines of, Jake talks a big game, but when it comes time to step up and face a real legend, he folds like a cheap suit. It's easy to look tough when you're fighting retired NBA players and washed up MMA guys, but Tyson, that's a whole different level, and Jake knows it. Now I gotta say, Rogan's words are pretty harsh, but you know Joe, he's not one to sugarcoat things. And let's be real, the story going around is that Rogan didn't stop there. But he's still like a professional heavyweight boxer. He's, he's still terrifying. If that Mike Tyson from Marvis Frazier fought Jake Paul, Jake Paul's dead. He's dead. He's not going to make it. He supposedly went into this whole thing about how Jake is damaging the sport of boxing with his antics. The word is that Joe said, Boxing has a long, proud history. It's not just about making money and getting attention. Jake Paul is turning it into a circus. There's more, though. The rumor is that he also questioned Jake's whole career strategy. Word on the street is that Joe said, Jake's been smart about building his brand and making money, I'll give him that. But at some point, you've got to prove you're the real deal. Now, I don't know about you, but if I were Jake Paul and I heard Rogan was saying all this stuff about me, I'd be pretty upset. Joe's got a huge platform and a lot of influence in the fighting world. Having him criticize you like that, even if it's just rumors, that's got to stink. Now, we all know Joe Rogan's not afraid to speak his mind. But these rumors suggest this might be one of his most brutal takedowns yet. It's one thing to criticize someone's performance in a fight, but to question their whole career and motivation? That's next level. The story goes that Rogan didn't just stop at criticizing Jake's decision to back out of the fight. Apparently, he went on to question Jake's whole approach to boxing. It's just That's... weird that we're even talking about right? it. Right? 100%. Guy from Disney is going to... Tyson, right? the YouTube kid. There's not a chance in hell that Jake Paul would survive against the Mike Tyson. The buzz is that Joe said Jake's been cherry picking his opponents from the start. He's fighting guys who aren't real boxers, who are past their prime, or who are just there for a paycheck. That might work for building up your record and making some noise on social media, but it's not going to cut it if you want to be taken seriously in the boxing world. There's more, though. Paul did fight a kid his age and he lost. I just saw this thing on the internet yesterday where it says if he beats Mike Tyson, he's going to fight Clint Eastwood next. Clint Eastwood's 93 <laughs> years old. On well, the verge of Jake Paul, if you want to be taken seriously as a fighter. But right? he doesn't. Jake wants to make money. The people that follow Jake Paul don't buy Jake Paul's fights. So Jake Paul has to fight people who can actually sell pay-per-view. Apparently, he also took shots at Jake's whole celebrity boxing phenomenon. Word is that Joe said something like, this whole trend of YouTubers and social media stars getting into boxing, it's not good for the sport. It's turning something that requires years of dedication and skill into a sideshow. Jake had a chance to prove that he was different, that he was serious about boxing. Now I gotta say, Rogan's words are pretty brutal. But you know, Joe, he's always been a straight shooter. And let's be honest, a lot of people in the boxing world have had similar thoughts about the whole YouTuber boxing trend. Yeah, I don't, I, I'm sorry, I don't see how, how Jake pulls this off. Uh, I see Mike Tyson punching him in the body and I, I don't see how Jake stops that. Jake is not of the size to give Mike a problem. This is a joke. Respect to Mike Tyson, okay? One of the greatest heavyweights ever, but he probably wants to get back in there because old habits die hard because he is a real fighter. He's made from that kind of DNA. Obviously devastating news, I'm heartbroken, speechless, like gutted. We've been working so hard over here, everyone in this camp, and I just feel bad for everyone involved in this event, the whole undercard. This is opportunity has been ripped from all of us. Now, word on the street is that Joe said something like, I get it, Jake saw an opportunity to make some money and get some attention by getting into boxing. But at some point, you've got to ask yourself, are you doing this because you love the sport and want to be the best? Or are you just in it for the fame and the paycheck? 
Backing out of the Tyson fight makes it pretty clear which one it is for Jake. Now that's a pretty heavy accusation. Questioning someone's passion and dedication to their craft, that's not something to be taken lightly. I'll become a world champion. Everyone's entitled to have a dream. No, seriously, I'm being serious. I think there's absolutely no way he can, he can beat a world champion and become world champion. But I'll... I don't know how good he is because he hasn't really faced a real fighter yet. It's not his fault. He signed to fight Tommy Fury. Well, Tommy Fury. Five time world champion and Tyron Wood is a real Mate, fighter. He's not, he's not a real boxer. He's not Jake. Well, I mean, Jake, the, the first can't. skill in MMA is no, boxing. Jake, he Jake, he, he won the UFC Jake, championship Jake, with a right Jake. hand. The grapevine is also buzzing with speculation about how this is going to affect Jake's relationship with the boxing community. Some people are saying that after this, a lot of serious boxers and trainers are going to be hesitant to work with Jake. Now, I don't know about you, but if I were Jake Paul and I heard all these rumors about what Rogan was saying, I'd be pretty worried. Joe's got a huge influence in the fighting world, and having him criticize you like this, even if it's just rumors, that's got to be tough to deal with. He came in, I didn't know if he had any ability, he thought Anderson Gibb, who was terrible on the night, and Jake looked pretty average because Gibb was terrible as well, and it was like this. Um, hey, what? don't start this off like that. What? And actually, but you I'm call not, me average after you one average. minute. But you call me after one minute of my first professional you, fight. No, but you're still average. You're not. You, That's you're not, not true. I just it, beat a five-time world you world beat champion. A UFC. You don't even fight. know. You don't know my ability though. Which I'm entitled to, which is average. Average is very complimentary to you as a boxer. There's more though. You consider Tommy Fury a real boxer? Yes, but I'm not not in terms of so, ability. But but listen. But Tom, what I'm less. saying is Usman does not qualify to give you any right to talk about you fighting for a world title. And nor does Tommy Fury, actually. But I don't believe you will ever get close to being a world-class fighter. I just think it's sad, bro. I think it's super sad. I don't know why Jake took it. It's a lose-lose. Mike yeah. Tyson is 57 years old. Yeah. Like, yes, in his prime, this would have been crazy. But imagine I he gets knocked out by Mike Tyson. Then. That, that would suck. <laughs> that would suck. <laughs> that, okay, so that's any... where it's a lose-lose. Paul, I would for five million. I would fight you to the. Yes, I'm not even. I'm not even. I'm not even joking. I'm, I'm being 100 percent serious. I would go to a deserted island with you today and fight you to the death for five million. But here's the thing about you, Jake Paul. You're a coward. You're the. You're the. You're the. You're the. You're the. You're the millennial YouTube generation. You just do shit for attention. You're a weak man, and you're gonna continue to be a weak and make a shit ton of money. That I respect you for. But can hate you. He's fighting a legendary, iconic fighter. Yeah, he's 58 years old. Yeah, the end of his career wasn't too good. One of the last things that go with a fighter is his power. I interesting. I think he might be making a mistake. Oh jeez, I don't. It's, it's a bit, it's a bit strange. You know, the, is my interest. I've not. I, the interest is low, and I don't know. I don't really. It, it, I don't understand it. I don't know where. They came from with that one sounds very ridiculous because i've been calling for this fight for over two years i've been waiting for this fight forever the word is that rogan said something to the effect of in the fighting world respect is everything and you earn that respect by taking on tough challenges by proving yourself against the best i didn't you know if we fought it'd be 30 seconds i disagree Th 30 it's seconds I, I, did you see I, the footage I, of I him sparring recently i don't need to see the footage he would be a big favorite i'm terrible but I, I like i said for 10 mil i'd do it i just a decent win. Now the Askren fight was embarrassing. He was like he wasn't, didn't even try. But the Usman fight was a good win. I, but again, the Woodley, it's not Woodley. Woodley, sorry, definitely not Usman. But the, the the Woodley fight was a good win. But at the same time, yeah, you know, we we sit here all day arguing about it. It's not a boxer. Not a boxer. It's a pretty wild situation, and who knows how it's all going to play out. So the fight's coming up. You're training. Um, do you have any yeah. dislike for for Jake Paul? Like you, you want to teach him a lesson? I would do just that, but dislike him? No, I don't. I do not have no grudges against him. He's beautiful, and no, it's not from that perspective. This is from my 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 point of view of grabbing glory, you know, never for money, only glory. I would never risk my health for money.
on the latest exhibition match for Jake Paul. Well, Jake Paul's a Nobody in the fighting world's better at stirring the pot than Jake Paul. Rumors are swirling like a tornado that Jake Paul, the YouTube sensation turned boxer, might be considering hanging up his gloves for good. Yes, you heard that right. The guy who's been making waves in the boxing world might be calling it quits. Let's break down these rumors. Imagine this scenario. Jake Paul, the internet's favorite love to hate boxer, is gearing up for what's supposed to be the biggest fight of his career against Mike Tyson. Everyone's hyped, tickets are selling like hotcakes, and then out of nowhere, whispers start circulating that Jake's thinking about throwing in the towel. Not just for this fight, but for good. Here's the scene. It all allegedly went down during what was supposed to be a routine press conference. Jake and Mike are there, reporters and cameras everywhere. Everything's going according to script until it's not. Jake steps up to the mic and something seems off. He's not his usual cocky self. He starts talking about the pressures of the fight game, the toll it's taking on him mentally and physically. And then he drops a bombshell. I've been doing a lot of thinking, and I'm not sure if this is the path I want to continue on. Boxing's been great, but maybe it's time for a new chapter. The room supposedly goes dead silent. You could apparently hear a pin drop. Mike Tyson is said to be standing there looking stunned. He supposedly mumbles something about needing time to think and bolts from the stage faster than he throws his right hook. And just like that, according to rumors, the boxing world is turned upside down. Here's where it gets really interesting if these rumors are to be believed. Mike Tyson, the man who's seen it all in boxing, steps up to the mic. Everyone's supposedly expecting him to be furious. I mean, this could potentially derail the biggest payday of his post-retirement career. But Iron Mike, according to these rumors, surprises everyone. He supposedly looks straight into the cameras and says, Listen, I've been where Jake is. The pressure, the expectations, it's not easy. If he needs time, he should take it. Mental health is no joke. But if he wants to fight, I'll be ready. Just like that, if the rumors are true, Mike Tyson, the guy who once reportedly said he wanted to eat Lennox Lewis's children. Yeah, Lennox Lewis, Lennox, I'm coming for you. I was going to rip his heart out. I'm the best ever. I'm the most brutal and vicious and most ruthless champion there's ever been. There's no one can stop me. Lennox is a conqueror. No, I'm Alexander. He's no Alexander. I'm the best ever. There's never been anybody as ruthless. I'm Sonny Liston. I'm Jack Dempsey. There's no one like me. I'm from Nairclaw. There's no one that can match me. My style is impetuous. My defense is impregnable. And I'm just ferocious. I want your heart. I want to eat his children. Praise be to Allah. If these rumors hold any water, we've stepped into some parallel universe where up is down and cats are chasing dogs. But let's pause and look at the bigger picture here. Is Jake Paul really considering retirement? Or is this all part of some elaborate PR stunt? I mean, this is the guy who's made a career out of controversy and attention-grabbing antics. Remember when he allegedly crashed Conor McGregor's press conference? Or when he supposedly snatched Floyd Mayweather's hat? A little heated at their news conference yesterday, Mayweather ended up uh, in a bit of a brawl, not with Logan Paul, but with his brother, Jake. Get, get Al Hamid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me call Al Hamid. Let's make it happen. Come on, 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 night. Got you. Oh. The guy knows how to get people talking. So what if these rumors are just Jake's way of drumming up more interest in the fight? It's like Boxing Promotion 101. Create drama, get people talking, sell more tickets. And if that's the case, well, mission accomplished. Because here we are allegedly talking about it. But here's the thing. What if it's not a stunt? What if Jake Paul, the guy who's been the poster boy for confidence, some might say overconfidence, is genuinely struggling with the pressure? It's easy to forget that behind all the bravado and YouTube fame, he's still a young guy who's been thrust into a brutal sport. Let's be real for a second. Boxing isn't a game. It's not like making YouTube videos where you can edit out the mistakes or do another take. When you step into that ring, if these rumors are true, it's just you and your opponent, and one wrong move can supposedly have serious consequences. We've seen plenty of cases where fighters have allegedly struggled with the mental toll of the sport. So if Jake is allegedly genuinely considering stepping away, can we really blame him? So if Jake is genuinely considering stepping away, can we really blame him? He's made his money. He's proven his point that a YouTuber can step into the boxing world and make waves. Maybe he's looking at this Tyson fight and thinking, 
Do I really want to get in the ring with a guy who used to terrorize heavyweight champions for fun? But here's where it gets complicated. If Jake does retire, what does that mean for his legacy? He's built his whole boxing career on being the outsider, the guy who's not afraid to take on anyone. Walking away now, especially right before the biggest fight of his career, could undo all of that. On the other hand, if he stays and loses to Tyson, which let's face it is a very real possibility, does that tarnish everything he's built? It's a classic damned if you do, damned if you don't situation. Now, let's talk about the ripple effects of this bombshell. It's not just about Jake Paul. This affects a whole lot of people. Think about it. First, there's Mike Tyson. The guy came out of retirement for this fight. He's been training. He's been hyping it up. If Jake walks away, what does Iron Mike do? Does he look for another opponent? Does he say, screw it, and go back to his cannabis business and podcast? Then there's the promoters, the venue, all the people who've been working behind the scenes to make this fight happen. We're talking millions of dollars at stake here. If Jake pulls out, that's a lot of people who are going to be very unhappy. And what about the fans? The people who've already bought tickets or were planning to order the pay-per-view. They're left hanging, wondering if they're going to see the fight of the year or if they need to make other plans for that Saturday night. But let's zoom out even further. What does this mean for the world of celebrity boxing as a whole? Jake Paul has been at the forefront of this trend, bringing a whole new audience to the sport. If he walks away, does that burst the bubble? Do we go back to boxing being just for real boxers? It's a fascinating situation because it really highlights the weird place boxing is in right now. On one hand, you've got the purists who say guys like Jake Paul are making a mockery of the sport. On the other hand, you can't deny that he's brought a ton of attention and new fans to boxing. So if Jake does retire, is that good or bad for boxing? It's hard to say. Maybe it opens the door for other influencers to step in and fill the void. Or maybe it signals the end of this celebrity boxing trend and we go back to business as usual. But here's what I think is really going on. Jake Paul is at a crossroads. He's achieved more in boxing than anyone thought possible when he first laced up the gloves. He's made money, he's gained respect, well, from some people at least, and he's proven his doubters wrong. But now he's facing Mike Tyson. This isn't some other YouTuber or a retired MMA fighter. This is Mike freaking Tyson, the baddest man on the planet. The guy who used to knock people out for breakfast. I think reality is setting in for Jake. He's looking at Tyson, looking at his own career, and asking himself, is this really what I want? It's like he's climbed to the top of the mountain and now he's not sure if he likes the view. And you know what? That's okay. It's okay to have doubts. It's okay to question your path. In fact, it's probably healthier than blindly pushing forward just because that's what everyone expects you to do. But here's the million dollar question. What happens next? Does Jake Paul push through his doubts and step into the ring with Tyson? Does he walk away and focus on his other ventures? Or does he find some middle ground, maybe postpone the fight, take some time off and come back when he's in a better headspace? Whatever he decides, it's going to be big news. If he fights, it's going to be one of the most watched boxing matches in recent history. If he retires, it's going to send shockwaves through the sports and entertainment world. And that's what makes this whole situation so fascinating. It's not just about a boxing match anymore. It's about identity. It's about mental health. It's about the pressure of fame and expectations. It's a human drama playing out on a global stage. So, what do you think? Is Jake Paul really considering retirement or is this all part of the show? If he does retire, what does that mean for the future of celebrity boxing? And if he fights, does he stand a chance against Mike Tyson? Drop your thoughts in the comments below.